Yeah, because what most people do, just come out after they've got their bag, they go straight through, uh, nothing to declare, come out straight in front of you, you've got your taxis. Well, if you've never been there before, that's what most people do. Get Go out, get a ticket, straight out into a taxi. But you're going to be spending more money. They charge you extra money because it's at the airport. There's also another little con that they do there at Sukhumvit Airport is if you've got a free taxi to your hotel, they say number four, pick you up at number four. So when you come out of door on number four, you walk straight there and they've set up a desk there to block the pathway where they give you the ticket. So you see the spaces in front of door number four, you think it's here. You ask them, is this the free transport to the hotel? The taxi, yes, free, free. You get to where you're going or where you're nearly gone and they charge you. And then all of a sudden they say, oh, I don't speak English anymore, you got to pay. Everyone has come to see me off and to do the journey to the train station for my trip. So here we are at the station, going to get the train down to London and then to Heathrow. Right. So I just bought my ticket and now just waiting for the train. So after about an hour's train drive I've arrived at St Pancras station and it's some architectural roof they have here. Well, they've got some nice cakes and some quite a few shops along here that they didn't used to have. Or if you want some pasties or pies. We've got to change over to the Elizabeth line. <laughs> These are some steep escalators. I don't think I've ever seen any escalators as steep as these. On both sides they've got these TV screens showing adverts. They usually just put posters up. I don't know if the camera is picking this up how steep it is but you certainly wouldn't want to lean back or fall down here they actually are.
And I finally made it to Heathrow Terminal 2. I've checked my bag in and now I've got a fair few hours to wait <laughs> but I've got to get through security but there's some nice views now and we've got a great sunset here at Heathrow London Heathrow Terminal 2 I'm going to start heading through and hopefully everything and the flight all goes fine. Keep up to date by subscribing and we'll see how we get there at the other end in Thailand. I'm all through the security checks, done my searches, x-rayed the baggage and now I'm just waiting in the departure lounge. There's a few planes out there, I don't know if this is my plane or not, the Thai Airways. I've used them many times in the past, as long as with other airlines like Eva Air and stuff. But Thai Airways are normally pretty good, hopefully they will be this time. I've arrived at my hotel in Bangkok. It's the view from my Bangkok window out on the traffic. Well, there's sirens going off, and even though it's late, it's still really busy out there. This is up on the 15th floor looking down. So there we have Rama 4 Road from the hotel view. It's at night, still really busy going through the traffic. Some sort of ambulance trying to get through all that traffic but they've got nowhere to move out the way to. from that window. Right, so we finally made it to the hotel. That was quite a journey coming through there. We got got on the plane at Heathrow and then we must have sat on the runway for an hour. Just sat there waiting to take off. That was not good, but these things happen. I thought I uh, was gonna have a seat with nobody next to me and everyone was pretty much on the plane. I, I normally wait till the end, so I don't like being on the planes too much because of the air conditioning. I get, feel a bit rough sometimes. And then they was coming asking about, oh, was I this person? And then they was asking other people who was on in the aisle and they was checking. And then this bloke come on. He looked like a right druggy. Come on there, but it's... <laughs> he looked like a right druggy. Come and sat next to me all the way but he wasn't too bad he covered his head over with a blanket and just stayed there all the time didn't so uh, that wasn't too bad he didn't bother me really going when they did the food 
they brought the food round. He uh, heard the trolleys moving and he sort of stared. By the time he stared, they was doing the drinks. And I said to him, when you wake up, oh, they've just brought the food. If you ask the stewardess, they'll give you the food. But, and he said, no, nah, he was all right. Oh, and he stunk when he spoke to me like he had all been sick. I was like, oh, God, don't talk to me. I was facing the other way. But luckily, most of the way back, he just kept his head covered up. But then when we was coming into land, it, they told us we was coming into land, but we was quite a while still up there before we actually did come in land. Oh, and he stunk. Every time he's moved, he smelt like he had shit himself. I don't know what he, so he stunk of puke and sick. And I was like, oh, just stay away from me. I don't want to get ill when I'm going out. I don't know if he was ill or what he was up to. He was fidgeting around like anything. And when we was all sat, we'd landed, and you sat in being ferried to the rum, like to the parking part at the airport before you can all get your bags and that. Uh, and he was doing all these roll ups ready for when he got off, but he was fidgeting and everything. As soon as he got his bags, he got it and get off and was shot, shot off. I thought, oh, that's good, stay away from me. Of course, he stank. I thought, good job he kept himself wrapped up all that way, otherwise, I would have not been well myself. Oh. But that wasn't too bad. So one of the major differences I noticed this time from when I've been to Thailand in the past, normally when you get to the uh, immigration desk, you have to fill out a little visa card and which hotel you stay at and your information. Sometimes they used to hand them out to you on the plane, but then you'd normally be stuck at Bangkok uh, Sukhumvit Airport for about an hour or two trying to get through the queues because everybody from all the flights all tunnel into the same part and have to go through but this time it, it all changed they got rid of most of the zigging in and out and there was a lot of lined up desks all with people, immigration officers on so this time it still took about only took about 10-15 minutes but the major difference from last time I come here you have to put your fingers on the computer so it takes your fingerprints so the first they go like four from your right hand then your four fingers from your left hand and then you've got to go double thumbs and put both your thumbs on the computer so they've got all your fingerprints what you can't really refuse and they take your picture uh, on the computer like they used to you can't really confuse refuse that because what can you do they say oh you can't come in so you're forced into having to give them all your fingerprints so that was okay, come through there. Went and queued up for the baggage. That took quite a while to come through. While I was waiting for that, just to come through, I went and got my phone chip. There's lots of little desks all around the airport. You just go up, they normally give you a sheet of plastic with the deals of the different types of phone chip packages they do, or what type of phone chip it is. So I just bought the 30 day one with uh, AIS because I've used them in the past, but before I've just gone and topped them up uh, in like 7-Elevens. But this one, I just thought it was a 30 days, unlimited internet, and that was a thousand baht. So that's about 24 pound English sterling. So they got it, put it all in the chip for me, checked it. Then I got my bag that come out made my way down if people don't know because most people just go and get in a taxi what's well, normally easier if, if you don't know where you're going just get the taxi but if you go right to the end of the airport and go right down to the bottom you can get the central line and you just either go to the desk and they get you a ticket or there is machines so you get the central line and just go straight into Bangkok and there you can switch
Yeah, because what most people do, just come out after they've got their bag, they go straight through, uh, nothing to declare, come out straight in front of you, you've got your taxis. Well, if you've never been there before, that's what most people do. Get Go out, get a ticket, straight out into a taxi. But you're going to be spending more money. They charge you extra money because it's at the airport. There's also another little con that they do there at Sukhumvit Airport is if you've got a free taxi to your hotel, they say number four, pick you up at number four. So when you come out of door on number four, you walk straight there and they've set up a desk there to block the pathway where they give you the ticket. So you see the spaces in front of door number four, you think it's here. You ask them, is this the free transport to the hotel? The taxi, yes, free, free. You get to where you're going or where you're nearly gone and they're charger. And then all of a sudden they say, oh, I don't speak English anymore, you gotta pay. So what you should have done is when you come out of number four, turn left, where that desk is, where they've blocked the path, get up, just walk up to it, onto the road, walk round it, and go to space number four. So not door number four, it has to be space number four where they do the free taxis to your hotel. And normally you should look on the, it will have your Pacific hotel name on the service. So that's a con the taxi drivers do there at the airport, what I have been caught out with before. Because you go there, everyone's queuing up, they give you a ticket telling you this is your free to your hotel, but then it's not free. But instead of that, if you've been, or you're confident to do it on your first time, instead of going straight out the door, when you come to departures, do a right, go to the escalator or to the lift, go down to the bottom, and you'll see there's also just exactly, and I think it's B, level B, you you can get the train, you can get the central line, you walk down there, there's a ticket office to get a train ticket, or you can just pay in the machine and pick English, pick which one of the stations you want to go to, pay the, it's not very expensive and it's much easier than getting the train, get the train straight into Bangkok. Then you can either switch trains if you want, or just get a taxi or a grab or bolt from once you're in the uh, train station, once you're in Bangkok, and it'll be a lot cheaper than paying a taxi at the airport. So, after we got the central line, I, um, Mukadan station I got it to, I switched trains there. It's just a short walk from the central line to the MRT, I think it's called. Uh, you get on that train, switch again, and that's it. I went all the way down to uh, Lumpur Station, or the one just before. But because it was, we was delayed, the train was delayed coming down, and the uh, plane, we sat on the plane at Heathrow for about an hour before it actually took off. I was expecting to be walking around in the day, but of course by the time the baggage came out and all that, it actually got dark. So. I was glad I had already bought my phone chip to do the GPS. I knew the station was here, the hotel, not the station, was nearby somewhere, but I wasn't exactly sure. And I stopped at a few roads, because I'd looked it up thinking, oh, it's easy, it's just by the 7-Eleven. But of course, there's about three or four 7-Elevens <laughs> right in a short time. I knew it was one of these, and I asked a few other people at the other hotels nearby, because I thought, pick a big tower, easy to find. So you've got the Crown just down the road there and the Lampini Hotel right now. I asked both of them and their security both said they didn't know where the Pinnacle was. But it was almost right next to it, just a little bit up the road. Tomorrow I will do a full review of the hotel and how you get there from the road in the day so you can see. Because it's easy enough once you know where it is, but when you're looking for it after being on a long flight, it can be a little bit tricky. But hotel booked in straight away 15th floor and like i say i'll show you around that in my next video and don't forget to smash that like button subscribe and comment it's completely free <laughs>